Welcome to another Puzzling Time video. Now most of you will be aware that I run a Mechanical Puzzles Discord. If you want to check that out, the link's below. And on that Discord we do monthly giveaways, special giveaways, and to help those uh, giveaways a lot of people donate uh, puzzles. And I've recently received a large batch of puzzles to give away uh, from a user called Brett, so thank you Brett, big thumbs up to you. And of those puzzles, most of them are wrapped up. So they're already kind of cling wrapped or, or new. So I'm not going to be uh, reviewing those. But some of the puzzles are exchange puzzles, IPP exchange puzzles. I'll still be giving them away. But I thought before I get around to giving them away, I'll try and showcase a few on the channel. And this is one of those puzzles. Made by Laser Exact. It's Hans van der Zong. It's the IPP 31 in Berlin. 2011. It must have been an exchange gift because I can find very little about this puzzle online. If we open the puzzle up, here's the actual puzzle. We have a little leaflet that comes with it. And it says Square dancing is a slide puzzle with nine pieces. Remove the middle piece with the button so you can slide the other pieces. You can now make four different squares. Note that pieces with arrows only slide in the direction shown. So you put that aside. It's a really nicely made puzzle list. It's got a lid on it and that lid actually has little magnets in it as well so it, it snaps on nicely. Very nice laser cut wood. Very nice puzzle. And we remove the middle piece and we can see this was one of the configurations on the lid here. We can actually see the four configurations. So we've got this bottom one down here, the bottom right. And we can make any of these other configurations. Now usually I just review this product and tell you how good it is and it's a wonderful puzzle to play with. I'm actually going to try and uh, solve this. So I think we'll aim for uh, the top left puzzle there. We'll go for this dark curved um, square and just to show you the puzzles only move in, in the direction shown this puzzle here only moves up and down uh, if I made space it would not move side to side it just does not budge that way at all and the same for this other restricted piece here with the arrows on it moves side to side but it does not move up or down now, I've actually designed a slide puzzle with restrictions myself and um, they're really fun and although they they do limit what you can do with the puzzle actually they, in many ways they can make it a lot harder so we'll, we'll give this a go and, and see how we get on so to solve this puzzle I obviously need to put this piece there that piece there so I'm swapping the diagonals basically so let's give that a go and I think my aim will be to try and create a situation where um, I can complete one of the rows it's got, which is restricted. I think that will be the kind of the easiest way of trying to complete this puzzle. Straight away I can see that having this piece stuck here is not helpful. Let's try and move that out of the way. Um, and ideally, I want to try and get one of these two corner pieces up here in front of this piece, this, this top center piece whilst the other one's already in place. So I'm going to have to do quite a bit of uh, manipulation to try and get that to happen. I've done a couple of slide puzzles before and I'm sure there's probably some algorithms that I could employ. You see now here this would be easy if I could move pieces in any orientation. These would slide down and they would go in. But unfortunately I'm restricted here. So I can't do that. Let's see if I can try and 
try and make space, but fortunately in doing that, I've uh, completely lost my pieces. Right. Yeah, this is a bad setup when they're next to each other here. Right, that's a little bit better. I've now got my top centre on my left um, in such an orientation that one will slide to let the other in. Of course, getting this up here is going to be more of a, a challenge. Maybe if I can get that. In the center, and this is this is the kind of setup that I wanted. So I've got my top left in position, and then as the top right slides in, the top center will follow. And I've got a feeling because of the restrictions, actually the end of this puzzle is going to be a little bit easier. So this this uh, piece is already in the correct position, but um, I need to have the bottom uh, left. there first. So actually if I slide this up, oh, I want to try and get my bottom left to come down as my left centre slides in. And this is uh, the solution now, here we go. So left, down and across. And we've managed to uh, complete that solution. So really nice puzzle, this one. Um, these two restricted pieces, really interesting, give a very different dynamics. You have to think about the, um, not just the order in which you're, you're solving, but which pieces are restricted. Um, you, could, uh, you could obviously scale this up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've read a, a paper that shows that actually any um, N by M kind of slide puzzle is possible uh, regardless of restrictions put on them. So there's actually lots of um, different variations of these that you can do. But yeah, um, not seen one of these um, come up in, in auction. Um, I've not seen um, uh, or, or read much about them at all online, apart from um, the odd uh, wiki kind of note. But there we go. This is square dancing. Beautiful puzzle. Um, that'll... Um, Find a lovely home for someone in one of the Discord giveaways. So if you're not a member of the Discord, uh, join and you might be lucky enough to uh, win this IPP exchange uh, puzzle from 2011. It's in mint uh, condition. The, the box isn't quite mint condition, but the puzzle is perfect. So that'd be great um, if you can uh, join the Discord and win that. Okay, that's great. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.